So, right now, we're about to test the new extruder from the barbecue that's going to be adaptable to the uh, modified Wade's extruder from Nophead that uh, that came with uh, my original Mendel 90 from him with the kit. So everything uh, should be ready to go. Got the beef loaded. Got uh, everything in there. Give you a quick tour on the extruder there. I still have to, so this part comes through here. Tack. I think I might have overloaded it. Right so I wrapped a paper towel around this uh, 20 by 35 glass. I held it down by a couple of those clamps. Because I think I put a little bit too much oil in there, greased it up a little bit too much. You can see it's overflowing a little bit, but it's first test with the new extruder as well. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Put some of that right there. Okay, hang on. What do you want to say? I want to say you by the apples of the cancer. Okay, just a second here. We're testing the, the barbecue to try for hamburger printing, huh? What do you think? See what happens. Lucky. Okay, you watch. I'm lucky. Okay, be careful on the chair. Don't you? I'll put the napkin on just to uh, catch it. I think it's maybe too greasy to that it might slide a little bit. So I hope it. Uh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh no. Oh. That was exciting. So here's the Poppy Q extruder test number two. I believe what was wrong was I had the filament diameter incorrectly inputted into slicer. I had it as 13 millimeters, which may be obvious to most of you that that's why it went speeding out of there like hamburger anyway uh, so I changed it to 46 and we'll we'll see what happens now one second please so let's cross our fingers this time then don't get hamburger exploding all over us. Got a, a few more napkins at the ready here. Of course, you should always have ne napkins next to your computer, right? Just in case. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So I'm guessing the model was just too small. So test four coming up. The model was just too small, so I 
made a bigger one. I'm just scared that it's not going to go off um, the edge here because I'm losing the, the way I, this initial design was. You can see it's offset. It's by about six centimeters. I give or take. So I, I want to. I'm going to have to either make up for that in some settings or um, or redesign it and have it uh, squeezed up. The original design was. Here we go. I don't know. It's supposed to be a star. Uh, it could be a star. Yeah, it's a star. Hey! But I definitely have to adjust some settings, settings here. Let me clear this up. You see now the. Um, the, the original design of the barbecue, I was gonna actually have it one of these George Foreman grills integrated into the design. Uh, not exactly like that disassembled and the the actual hot plate, you know, as part of the printer. But uh, that may be a ways off. But uh, I'm gonna eat it. It's supposed to be a star. But uh, we'll see what happens. With some settings, I'm sure it's gonna come around nice and neat, so we'll see. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the support, and we'll see you uh, later.